Shovel, perfect for denting skulls and burying them at the same time. Overall, it is a fantastic weapon, and not only does it uh, work about as fast as your average type of brutality weapon, with the third hit doing a little bit of knockback and stun, it also scales with survival, meaning that it's a very good choice for not dying because you can't really time your hits too well. It's for example, in the last run that I did. This is one that I've been putting off for some time. I really couldn't tell you why. Maybe as just kind of a follow-up to the original uh, frontline shield run where I, I dropped, where it was originally a shovel run and I dropped it halfway through for this. But even then, I don't know, I feel like there's also uh, uh, something to be said about saving the best for last, because that's right. This is the last regular weapon for the showcase runs. That's right, everybody. We're finally getting there. We've got one more special weapon, and then, of course, the Cursed Sword. And maybe stuff like a revisit, uh, get back to the katana, get back to the uh, toothpick, and <laughs> try my hand at the, the tentacle again. But it's like, I feel like I am getting pretty close to the end of this series. And this one, like I said, nice, fast weapon, has good scaling with it. Knockback also knocks away uh, bomb projectiles too, giving it even more utility compared to a lot of other weapons that you have. Sort of like the flashing fans, except you can also use it with a survival run. It's like there's a lot of good stuff going on here. All I need is just uh, one or two decent... All I need is just uh, like one or two decent uh, synergies with this. Any sort of elemental anything. And I should be set for this run. Dropped from the Swarmer Zombies, if I'm remembering the name correctly. The guys that summon the flies in the in the graveyard. No surprise there. So this one is something of a trek to get, but I do think it's 100% worth it. Just because it is such a good part of any sort of survival run you can get it in. Highly recommended. And from what I understand in the last update, it's actually been made even more powerful. A little bit of a damage buff there too. So this is this is uh, one of those top tier weapons. Not that you'll see me ever creating a uh, tier list for the game because I don't know. <laughs> Things change up so much too. You know how that, you know how that goes. Is the special, yes, the special weapon is the certain spinning weapon. I don't know what I'm going to do for that. I feel like it should be a special run, but... Because, you know, it's one of those ones that I explicitly turn off because it is a big ol' spoiler for the game. But, hey, it's still a weapon unto itself. So it's worth so it's worth uh, checking out, especially now that they, it's not nearly as powerful as it has been before. Sure, it's probably going to be a lot more um, fun to use because of that. Oh boy, take it for another spin. <laughs> yeah, that's surely that is. What if what if that was just one hundred percent stupid spin and like top puns? What if that's you know, you know like maybe throw like I don't know like a what what else? What other like stupid puns can I put in there? Yep. Oh man. That weapon is really good, but it's also, like I said, some of the things that used to make it very powerful are no longer present in its tool set. So it's going to be a lot of fun to get used to. Bl Beyblade music. I did, Beyblade was before my time or after my time. I don't actually know when it came out. I never watched it. I don't know anything about it. Ah, well, look, we'll get to that soon enough. Don't worry about it. For right now, this is really just going to be a very uh, normal run, I'd say. Because even though it does have gimmicks, like I said, uh, hitting hitting bombs away and everything, it's not like that comes up tremendously often. Really, it's just a, a fast survival weapon that now does double extra damage. And do I have? Can't be interrupted, but it's still definitely going to be one that I want to kind of keep on top of. One of the big drawbacks of using the shovel is the fact that it doesn't really have, like, a critical. There's not, like, a way to get super huge damage out of this, which is why I'm looking for... Uh, Maybe trying to get some more elemental synergies than I normally would. Because with, with like, uh, critical conditions and everything, that's you, what you build the weapon around. Here, it's just, uh, it's just... It's just a good weapon. And that means that sometimes that it might require a little bit of extra work to truly make it amazing. What do you got here? 
I guess it's like the Thunder Shield. Has been nerfed quite a bit, but it's still a lot more powerful than the than the Blood Shield that I'm using right now. Ah, who knows, who knows. Like 08, popular around the mid-2000s? I, I don't know then. <laughs> I feel like I probably would have been... Huh, yeah, then, then I don't know. Well, anyway. <laughs> Point is that I... I, that, that's not a that's not a thing for me. What do I want? Hey, did it say that they were uh, increase the amount of what doesn't kill me healing? So why not? Sure. Oh, let's see what happens here. Oh, and of course I get the uh, the outfit for the the other area that I decide not to go into. Why not? Yeah. Hey. Electricity still seems to be doing a lot of good work here regardless. Also, that stunning is quite nice, too. Yeah, this, I think, is definitely going to be... Uh, uh, I suppose you could call it a sword and board run, even though I am, of course, using a shovel. <laughs> its original uh, tagline was... Oh, yeah, I can also use, hit away these things, too. So this is actually, this is a pretty good uh, option as far as areas to go into. Its original tagline was... Uh, anything can be deadly if you put enough force behind it. And I mean, certainly this is definitely feels like a very chunky type of weapon. Can't really say exactly why it's survival. It used to be a lot slower before they uh, they sped up the attack animation, but decided to keep it survival anyway, which I suppose I'm not going to argue with. It's, uh, it's a, only a good choice for me. And I think anybody else who uh, wants to try their hand at survival but doesn't want to... Yeah, like I said, run into a lot of trouble because the weapons are so slow. <laughs> this one is definitely one of those ones that works just as well in a brutality build as it does in survival. But I also like the mutations you get here a little bit better, which is why I'm deciding to go this route instead. I think pretty much every time I use a shovel, I end up going with that. Isn't that the tagline of the pan? Uh, or better for the pan? Yes, but also I didn't watch cinematic. You gotta remember, I don't watch any um, any trailers for anything ever, for any reason. I hear Elden Ring is gonna be coming out now. I didn't watch the trailer. Something about chaos, which after people were saying that, I really thought that it was supposed to be something to do with uh, Final Fantasy XIV, because usually that's more of a, of, a, of a Final Fantasy thing. With Garland, now he's gonna knock you down and all, and all that. But whatever, I don't know. I guess we'll see when the time comes. In the Flex Scorpion Spits? No, it's only... Unlike the Flashing Fans, which can do any sort of projectile... Kind of surprised that I wasn't able to knock that Rampager back. Yeah, whatever, it's it's fine. Uh, yeah, unlike the, the Flashing Fans that can reflect any projectile, Shovel only does the bomb projectiles. I guess with the justification being that, you know, can't really get a good handle on a bullet. But you certainly can on a... A bomb. <laughs> Fun stuff here. Electrified targets actually works out well for me. Yeah, that would be... All I gotta do is just keep on top of my parry game, and... Should be able to get a lot of usage out of this. At least that's the plan. We'll see how it kind of goes in practice, though. As it is, I'd also uh, like to switch out my... Ice grenade for something... I, I, I don't think it's gonna be super useful here. I, I, ice grenade? Any sort of, like, freezing... Better for a slower weapon. This one I can go all in on damage. Maybe go grab like a death orb or something and probably be feeling pretty good about it. At least that's the working theory for right now. As it is, the run is going peach keen. So I can focus on getting better. I don't need to go grab, uh, spend all my money on better weapons right now. With the exception of getting that better shovel because, you know. Like I said, Shovel does not have any, like, special attributes aside from its ability to stun and the bomb thing. So getting the most powerful version of it that I can when I can is a good idea. Sort of like the Balance Blade or something in that respect. There's not really too much you need to build for it. Getting a colorless Hokuto's Bow? I can't, though. I turned off Hokuto's Bow. I mean, I guess unless it, it, it happens to show up as a... As a legendary. Also, Bunger. <laughs> Box snacks. But you know how 
that you almost ne I, I almost never see stuff that I have turned off appear as legendaries. Usually it's something that I don't <laughs> care all that much about taking. That's the power of RNG, baby. You love it, you hate it, you love to hate it, and you hate to love it. I just can't quit you, RNG, but that is, unfortunately, what I would like to do. I would prefer if there was a little bit less randomness. <laughs> as, as always, I think, like, the, uh, the best metric for how you can judge a roguelite or roguelike or anything is how much you can nudge the RNG in your favor. And unfortunately, nothing I can do with the... With legendary weapons in terms of that for right now. Maybe sometime in the future. But not for the time being. Doc, can you quit? Um cringe cringe. What are you talking about? <laughs> Is it because of the puns? Stop telling me I'm Krungo. I know that. If you've been watching this channel, you all know that. All legendaries are bad, I suppose so. Because after all, they're too cheap. Needless to say. Or was or was that because I was doing the bug snacks thing? <laughs> anyway. Either one could be... Uh, no, it's because of the bunger. Okay, I see. <laughs> that makes sense. I still want to play bug snacks eventually. I feel like I'd enjoy that game. Even though, you know... I think everybody kind of knows what the deal is by now. Okay. Anything else fun here? I mean, I would like to say that just like, you know, much like many a streamer, debasing myself and being extremely Krongo is just a part of my brand. I don't? Well, then you're in for a treat. The sort of treat that only a bug snacks can provide. I don't know. <laughs> I tried. Hey, there's like a moth made out of pizza in it. <laughs> now then, uh, kind of like take alienation, but I really don't need to. Soldier's resistance could be good. Berserker was something that I meant to take last time, but I think this should be pr even more effective right now, too. Something like that. I don't know. What color is my underwear? It is uh, another one of the um, blue and red. Or, not blue and red. Blue and white. Uh, oh, I would actually like this one. Blue and white. Uh, uh, kind of like a, a plaid style. Yeah, it was actually really easy to find, figure that out because I am currently only wearing my underwear. <laughs> it's very hot here. By the way... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my. Okay. There we go. Ah, oh, got it. By the way, anytime that you watch, like, um, anything... Anything on this channel, like, during these months, you can almost be assured that I am only wearing my underwear while recording it. So... Okay, that works. You know. <laughs> The last Persona episode? Yeah. The final episode of CrossCode? Yeah. There we go. Nice. Oh, that's not a bad boat. I'll throw the Thunder Shield in here for right now. And I might just use this for at least the time being. Not against the Weirded Warriors, though. Those guys are going to be getting the shovels. Oh, man. Yo, but, like, it's really hot in here right now. It's very uncomfortable. And, uh, of course, like, streaming also does, like, expend calories or something, which makes me even hotter. I am I am just, like, sitting here literally melting before your eyes. Or at least it would seem that way from the amount of sweat that I'm outputting at the time. So, I'll take that. I mean, ice is actually kind of working out for these enemies, but when I get a little bit later, it's yeah, going to be a little bit less useful as far as I'm concerned. Ah, ha, ha. I almost got it. And then good shovel usage right there, getting the bombs in there too. Okay. No, we're talking about the terrible weather. The terrible uh, 
weather that only comes around in what I like to call summer. <laughs> These guys can't be stunned, so you really gotta be at least slightly cautious when fighting them. And if I got poison, that would be really good too. Just usually that's something, there's not really a consistent way to get poison with a survival build, which is why usually you don't really plan to be building that too much. But here we are. Oh, right on top of the, uh, right on top of the rune too. Very nice. And we're nice and slowed and take him out. Let's go. Oh, how much clothing were you when you? I did not stream Rain World. That was a um, that was a video series. <laughs> oh boy, that was a little bit scary. Okay, it's only like twenty one. That's still pretty hot. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you guys have uh, much more heat tolerance than I. But, you know. Okay. I'll just knock you off. You don't get any uh, kill bonus here anyway. Done. Okay. Bro, it's 40 for me. Yeah, no, that's probably closer to what it is here right now. It's actually been cooler than it than it was lately. So, you know, this is this is like the break time where I get to have like a, a small reprieve from the heat. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Uh, Celsius. We're talking C. You know, the thinking man's temperature. <laughs> also, the rest of the world temperature. Yeah, the cringe, the Krungo temperature. No, I need those that extra jump. Also, I don't actually want to switch to that anyway. Oh boy, I I hope y'all ready for what might be once again a very um, unusual stream, as if it hasn't been already, just because of the heat. That is something that I've noticed uh, as of late that the videos are getting a lot more uh, unhinged. <laughs> that whatever ones that I do in this sort of like uh, temperature certainly have a style to them. I'm alive. Don't worry about it. I oh, hate it. <laughs> Man, that was a reference to, um, yeah, what was it? Uh, a, um, yeah, the Imperial versus Celsius for a spacecraft? That was like years ago. Oh, yeah. No. Looking for food, baby. Dead guy's got a dead guy? Dead Cells guy has a hunger that can only be fulfilled by some sort of very large wedge of cheese. Happy birthday, Doc. Hey, thanks. You missed it, though. Like, you know when my birthday was. Exponent talks a cloud. I kind of want to, I kind of want to go for it. No, it's clearly, I, I don't think it's worth trying to uh, make that work. Instead, going for a little bit different, um type of styling. Besides, I already have a whole a whole um, d d mutation right now based around getting parries. I should be using that one a little bit more. Okay, man. It's the reason why NASA measures in, in metric? Really? Hmm. I did not know that. I mean, I kind of... I had a uh, an assumption <laughs> that it was that sort of deal, but you know. You know how it is. The birds will kill you. No, they won't. It'll be fine. <laughs> Besides, how can I be killed with uh, these really great uh, costume rolls right now? I've been, like, pretty impressed with uh, how that's been turning out as of late. Uh, don't have extra damage on parried enemies. Or not parried enemies, frozen enemies. Even though that would be pretty nice again with this. No, clearly what I should be doing is I should be using uh, the Thunder Shield right now when it comes to trying to output some proper damage. Also, just parries in general, now that they've increased the effectiveness of it, are just a good idea to try and attempt a little bit more often. Buffs all around, baby. That's what I'm, um... That's what I'm trying to do. Tick costume? Yeah, I mean, but it's not just the tick costume. It's the, uh... 
for Celtic costume. The best one. The most stylish and coolest of ones. The ninja tick costume, basically. Which is ironic, because as far as I remember, the tick would usually fight ninjas. There was like an entire... Wasn't there a, a tick comic that was called, like, Night of a Million Billion Ninjas? That was like the... It's, it's like the fourth... Nobody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, fine then. Ah. <laughs> uh, come on, guys. I know, like, this... You're missing out on all these cool references. Don't, don't ellipses me. Uh, don't pause champ me. <laughs> anyway. Oh, sure, you guys remember, like, Beyblade, but you didn't watch, like, the Tick cartoon or read the comics? I tell you, kids these days, they don't know nothing about good entertainment. Good, high-quality, high-octane entertainment. Like the Tick cartoon. <laughs> this is the hill I'm going to die on. Anyway, the Tick cartoon... Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Ah, no, jeez, you guys. Uh, anyway. Boomer gets humiliated again. Gone sexual. Good. Uh, going old? <laughs> I don't. I think that's a gradual uh, process, but I don't think it's one that uh, stops being relevant over time. What am I talking? I told you. I told you that the stupid heat was going to do this. Somehow, my uh, general skills of playing Dead Cells still remain, though. So, that's good, I suppose. <laughs> you missed a scroll? Oh, no! I'm already getting called out about my general skill of Dead Cells. Yeah, okay, it's right there. Uh, it's fine, though. Look, certainly this is not going to be the thing that does me in. What do you got? Oh, that is Poison Target. But I kind of already got rid of the... Uh, Oh, poisoning stuff. Plus, it doesn't really matter. It's the same power as the previous thing that I got. At this point, playing Dead Cells is more natural to Doc than speaking human. Yes, English is the language of humans. Also, like, kinda. Yo, I can just, like... There's a certain amount that I think that when you, when you, when you get into the proper flow, after you've played a video game for literally thousands of hours, you just get into a flow, and you can just do it. It's not even a question of, like, doing it well or anything. You just do it. And that's cool. I like it. That's why I always like, uh, come back to Dead Cells, even though I have played it for literally thousands of hours. Okay. Do you do use the Dead Cells wiki? I remember that originally what I used... Oh, that was pretty close. Originally what I used was the, like, Dead Cells info page, which was just, like, a rip from the database of the game. Oh, he hit me on the backswing. And it's just like, by the time that there was an actual proper wiki, I, um, I just knew everything about the game. <laughs> and it's like, anything I didn't know, people would tell me. Chat, don't worry, I'm reading you. Your, uh, your information, your pro tips are not going to waste. I mean, unless I already knew it, which, let's be honest, at this point is probably highly likely. <laughs> not always, though. Look into the code. No, no, no. It was a, um, it was just like a website that literally had a, a pull of all of the, the, like, information directly from the game. Because, <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the, uh, how to mod the game or anything. It's not that difficult. My pro tips is that I like, uh, Dragon Quest IX. I have only ever played Dragon Quest One and Two. I don't actually know what's up with 9. I remember when Builders came out, I was kind of interested in that solely because it was sort of a semi-sequel to Dragon Quest. <laughs> Good try there. Uh, because it was sort of a semi-sequel to Dragon Quest 2. Not that it's just like that's a really great game or anything. It's very primitive, but I don't know. I just had a fun time with it. Yeah, 1 and 2. Back when they were called Dragon Warrior. And by back when they were called, I mean I... I didn't, I, I played it like 10 years ago. It wasn't that long ago. Ah. 
Searching for stuff in the files is a pain. Well, I mean, if you're grabbing literally everything out of it, you know, including, like, the tool tips and the stats and everything like that, it's, like, uh, probably a little bit easier because, you know, you're not looking for something in particular. Like, bruh. Yo, they're not bad. They're not great. The Dragon Quest 2 is a lot better than Dragon Quest 1. But they're not, like, gr they are NES RPGs. Still, it's like, I think for the history alone, they're uh, pretty interesting to uh, to play regardless. Of course, I'm also somebody that likes doing things for the experience, not necessarily because I'm having, like, a rollicking good time. You know how that is. Man, when you get a good shovel, look at how that just works. Also, I do believe, yep, yep, yep. That is a reversed <laughs> graphic on the on the edge there. That's fun. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Three different files for weapon tool that made by a Discord user to figure out where uh, the proper where like a uh, uh, blueprints are and everything. Yeah, I can believe that. Sometimes wikis are weird about that. I don't know. It's. It's, it's the sort of thing where, I, for me, whenever I look at a wiki, I do it, like, breadth first. For all my fellow programmers out there. Basically, I just, like, go through all of the articles rather than looking for something in particular and learn everything about the game or whatever sort of media that I'm looking at rather than, like, trying to pinpoint anything in particular. <laughs> It's like, I, I, I know what, like, everything unlocks in Binding of Isaac, for example, because I went to every character page and looked at what every item it was they unlocked and everything like that. And then I looked at every page of each item and, and so on and so forth. In other words, you do your research more like I am an obsessive weirdo, if you would. Hmm. Oh, uh, did you start your streaming career with Dead Cells? Uh, I mean, well, they started... I started on YouTube originally, back in 2017, with uh, Dead Cells. Yeah, that was with um, pre-elemental update Dead Cells. <laughs> Version, like, 0.1 or whatever you'd call it. And then it took a really long time, actually, before I even played a different game on the channel. First one was uh, Dungreed. Or was it... No, no, it was purple, right? Yeah, it was purple, brain lord, and then Dungreed, so... Took a grip. That tells us that... Well, no, it technically came out in full in 2019, or was it 2018? I don't remember. I should go over the 60 kills. Feel like I can. Actually, can I? Literally, though? 12 enemies left? Maybe? <laughs> hmm. Uh... I should just get out of here. Hey, I'm gonna go do the uh, I'm gonna go do the conjunctivious fight for fun. Still waiting on Undermine. I mean, technically, I've done I I did I did a lot of stuff with Undermine. I even unlocked uh, Siegfried's Aegis. I feel like that is even though I didn't properly finish the series. Yes, that is true. I feel like I did I I, I did that game justice. You can wait for extras to spawn. Ah, let's let's do it. Let's get the 60 kills here. And we can talk more about Undermine. That's a good game. Uh, of course, needless to say, as of late, I've been really into Binding of Isaac. <laughs> the clear inspiration for it. So, I've been playing something very similar, if nothing else. Yep. Still so many games on the list. Yeah, the plan right now is, now that I'm done with CrossCode, to just start going at a whole bunch of the games. Because I already have a whole bunch of the games bought. So I was thinking, like, maybe try and go, like, get a bunch of them, like, started up as a series at once. See if I can't, uh... Oh, no! Ah, I thought I could roll through there fast enough. Ah, well... It's how it goes sometimes, though, baby. Can't play perfectly. Cleared malaise. Mm, unfortunately. Wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. I spent so much time going around here trying to do it. 
Oh, well, it's not like it's you get that many rewards for it or anything. It just it would have been nice. It would have been nice, but it's not it's not the end of the run because I didn't get it. Or maybe it is. And I'm sorry. I'll uh, see you for the next Dead Cells episode. It'll, it'll look forward to it. It'll be fun. Uh, time to bury the 60 kills. Mm -hmm. Hey, nice. This is the time of year that I want it to be, but it is not. Come on. Come on, you get extra. Yeah, that's, that's a decent amount of extra damage on A. That's a decent amount of extra damage on a um, electrified target, so, you know. Ah, tried. No, I saw that Pakora reference. You're not getting that away from me. There we are. Well, no, I wanted to get the parry. There we are. I know, and I'm sorry. Too bad. Once again, you know I'm deep in the VTuber rabbit hole. Like, I assume everybody is, right? Right, guys? Am I right, my fellow gamers? <laughs> ah, damn it. I should really just uh, let go of the electricity at this point in time. It's kind of doing me a little bit more harm than good. Yeah, slow him down. Perfect. That was the sort of combo that I was looking for. Good. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah. Just gonna keep letting the um letting the electricity go. Okay, sure, that was a parry. That was definitely a parry that I did there. Yeah. <laughs> fine, whatever, just don't give me the parries. I don't care, it's fine. There we go. How am I getting right? How much am I getting right now? Uh, 4% after pairing an attack. Not too shabby, if you ask me. Come on. Not quite what I was looking for. I didn't even get the parry either. Now that's what I want. <laughs> Done. Not, not bad. Not quite a perfect fight, though. But for a survival fight, pretty good, I want to say. That is a sizable re regen, I'd say. I'm happy to see that it really does feel like it is, you know, usable. <laughs> like, for real, though, you, the previous versions of what doesn't kill you have not been very good. But now when it's, you know, get a huge amount of healing, like 5% is a lot. It's, it's actually something that I, I want to take more than usual. Used to be like 3% to 20 scrolls. Yeah, and that's like huge. Oh, yeah, Jim Zen, you uh, uh, messaged me about that earlier, and I was thinking exactly how to respond. Uh, how did learning with Persona 5, learning Japanese with Persona 5 go? Thinking of trying that too. I mean, I think that, well, one, you know, all bits and jokes aside, the game is kind of dull. <laughs> like, I, I don't actually find the story all that interesting. So as long as you pick something that's better... <laughs> Probably it'll go a lot better. Uh, the other thing, though, is that I do feel like the most... The, the stuff I'm getting out of it is largely because of my absolute refusal to ever talk to anybody else about trying to learn this language. So, if you have, like, a study buddy or a teacher or anything, that's probably your best bet. But if you are really uh, intent on going it solo in the same way that I'm doing... Then I would, I, I'd recommend it. But really what I would say is don't go in for the long haul. Do like some short little things instead of like you're picking a hundred hour game that you're going to go through entirely. <laughs> and then see if, see if, yeah, like you're really into it. Because it certainly has done a lot for me in terms of I, I now know how to use a Japanese keyboard. I am... Um, significantly better at like a uh, kanji and kana and everything recognition even for uh you know specific uh styles and everything like that uh and you know it's like as, as much as i kind of slack off on maybe trying to uh 
truly get the most out of learning with that, I still have gotten a lot more experience actually like understanding the damn language itself. So it is worth it. It's just, I would have really liked if I picked one, a different game and two, uh, didn't commit to doing the entire thing like that. <laughs> you know how that is. All right. Learning a language you will never converse in. Never, ever. The, the thing, though, is that it's like... I, what I want to do, though, is I want to eventually start doing, like, actual subtitling stuff for untranslated games. Like, that's the eventual plan, to go start, like, digging out some obscure PlayStation games or something that never got any sort of, like, fan translation or whatever. And then just be like, I'm going to do it myself. Because, let's be honest here, you've seen the Persona series. I got the commitment to actually do that. I just need to learn the damn language first. And let me tell you right now, it is not a question of just learning the language. I need to be perfect at it before I can even want to start that. But that's the eventual plan here. That it's like, I'm going to take some big old VNs that people have been waiting for get translations for for years... I'm going to be taking, like, big old RPGs that, you know, you otherwise would be totally unable to, like, translate due to, like, the sheer amount of text or anything like that. And I will sit down, and much like the Persona series, I'm going to do it myself, baby. <laughs> but like I said, it can't just be good enough. It has to be perfect. Yeah, good. Wow, I'm, I'm glad I got the parry there. Hentai stuff? D you know what? Sure. As long as it's not, like, too weird or anything, I'll just... I will take your hentai, and I will give you just, like, an entire sheet. Here you go. Here's the translation. Enjoy. Because <laughs> it's like, by the time that I get good enough at this, it won't even be all that difficult to do. I'll just be able to start pumping that stuff out like you wouldn't believe. At least that's the hope. You don't even have to pay me. How weird is too weird? I don't know. <laughs> you, I don't... I, I'm going to be honest. I have not tested the waters myself. It'll be a fun learning experience for everybody, I assume. Well, anyway. uh, d Yeah, but, d you know... The Persona series is more than just Persona. <laughs> it's the start. I mean, y y you can even see in the series that it's like, right now, I have it down pat. Like, how I would do subtitling and everything. It's like all that stuff is prepared. It is ready to go for... Mm, do I want it? I'll throw it in the... I'll throw it in the reserve for right now. Uh, like all that stuff, it's down pat. It is in the reserve, just waiting for me to finish up with the Persona series to become truly good at Japanese, and then I can apply it to any game. <laughs> any game at all. It's just the same. I, it's all there, baby. It can be applied to any sort of game, any sort of piece of media, whatever. And I already know how to do it. And I know how to do it efficiently and, and quickly. All of that. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so. That's, uh, if you were ever wondering, like, is there more than just the Persona thing? Yes, there is. It's not, that's not the end all be all of the plan. That is merely the beginning. However, it's like, I still got so much more to do when it comes to truly gotcha. Man, this is doing some good damage, by the way. When it comes to truly understanding the language. And one of the things I think is going to be important is actually getting over my whole issue with ever talking to other people. Because God knows, it's like, at this point in time, I have, like, a JLPT-1 level of vocabulary <laughs> and stuff like that. But I'm still horrendous at, at grammar because I don't talk to people. It's ridiculous. I have to get over that, and I have to, like, actually get out there because there's so much porn that needs to be translated. It needs to be translated. I have to do it. I'm putting the Sword of Damocles directly above my head. Except it's pornography. <laughs> uh, well, anyway. It needs... Look, I don't know. Look. Look. The sort of people who are down with that. 
Yes. Needs. <laughs> Gonna go for Godden or Cavern. I don't know. You got any opinion? We could also go on Dying Shore. I do believe that's also a choice here as well. If, you know. I don't need to look at the images. Yeah, but I mean, I, I know. I know you don't need to. But at the same time, it's like, isn't it that much better when you know what's going on? You know, like, it's such a value add, man. And besides, it's like, if I got really good at this, it would be no problem for me to just crank that out. Get it? Crank it out? Just crank out translations for stuff. Now, you guys do the typesetting or whatever, but that's kind of like the easier part, anyway. <laughs> Does not require literal years of learning a language. Where's your sense of immersion? Where's your sense of fun? I'm kind of surprised that I got out of the um, previous fight with the exact same costume. What are the chances of that? Anyway, um, so. <laughs> Glad to catch a stream. Oh, boy. Oh, man, if I was wearing a shirt right now, I would be tugging at my collar. Oh, it's just, it's, the commentary's getting worse over time. I told you. I told you the heat was going to get to me, and it has. <laughs> anyway, where am I going? Okay. Shovel run today. Shovel's a cool weapon, and it's working out super well. Oh, God, please, everybody forget everything that I just talked about for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, da -da 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 -da. It's, uh, wh what area am I going to, guys? You got to answer me. <laughs> no, quit, quit, quit commenting on the things that I was just talking about. Where's the place you get this weapon? Yeah, it's, uh, this is the place that you get the weapon. It is from the Swarmer Zombies, the guys that are summoning all the flies around me. Very easy to get on 5-cell mode if uh, you're there because of the malaise and the enemies that spawn from it. Will spawn you an awful lot of the, the Swarmer Zombies. They're just all over the place. Anywhere but ca Cavern? Uh, yeah, okay, fine. Uh, like, yo, a anybody... Oh, also, let me take a check quick. Oh, I don't have... Okay, um... What do I have on the Assault Shield right now? I'm just curious. Spreads inflammable oil, burns. Well, I know what I'm using. Because <laughs> that works quite well with the shovel that I have right now. Malay spawned enemies don't drop blueprints unless you use the hunter's grenade. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I was going to say, it's like, I definitely got blueprints from them. Uh, one of the newer mutations I remember getting from a, a Lancer. So, as long as you got the, the hunter's grenade, that'll work. Is this supposed to be a YouTube run? What do you mean supposed to? It is. Say hi, YouTube. We, we can't hear you, YouTube. I'm sorry. This is this is currently being recorded in the past. But anyway, um, Sepulcher? Yeah, let's go Sepulcher. Make this one nice and easy. I'm not playing me music right now. Ugh. We're going to keep what you said for like five minutes straight? Uh, no, I'm going to replace that with Sea Shanty 2. And people are going to be very confused. <laughs> Like, why did all the game audio and the spoken audio cut out and get replaced with old, uh, old, old RuneScape music? Boy, I got the, the, this is the second time I've gotten this outfit in this run. I'm actually pretty happy about that. The brain rot is hitting me pretty hard. I don't think, I, ah, I should have just taken the cursed chest if it's going to appear immediately. Nah. Yeah, let's, let's keep it safe not fight these guys go look for a little bit more um simple runs to uh thing oh the brain rot <laughs> the beef brain <laughs> getting a bad case of the beef brain i've been using hypno space too long hypno space outlaw is also a game that i might play eventually Yo, that game looks pretty legit. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Hypno Space of Fog is pretty good. You know, speaking of, like, old dumb internet stuff, as we have been throughout the course of this stream, both on and off the YouTube part of it. Oh, Nutcracking Cudgel is a good combo. Oh, but I mean, you know, you also just have the... the uh, as always, whenever you're using the Nutcracker, I always suggest just going immediately for the... The, um... Wolf Trap. Wolf Trap is just good. It does you a lot of good stuff. Grow, grows healthy and strong. 
still gotta go get that cursed chest. I should be able to, this is a fairly simple area, at least for me, to go through when it comes to being cursed. So I just gotta, oh God, it's, I'm sorry, the beef brain. <laughs> it's, it's still happening. <laughs> Look, this happens when I'm exposed to too much heat. I need, I, I need better, a better cooling system. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Anyway, I'm okay. Uh, yeah. Yo, the run is otherwise still going pretty poggy woggy, so I think it's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm kind of like. Uh, now I can't read the map. No, 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 I can. I'm. Oh, oh my. Well then. Um, Granny Cream's hot butter ice cream. Mix hot butter. Take the hot butter, mix it with the ice cream. Stir it both up, you can see it on your screen. <laughs> anyway, what happened to malaise? Malaise is no longer something that you get for, for uh, being hit. It is something that goes up gradually over time based on how many enemies are in the biomes. And enemies get different buffs based on it. You no longer die when you hit maximum malaise either. Enemies just become much more powerful. It's at once more fair, but also somewhat more unforgiving if you're uh, unconcerned about um, lazing yourself up an awful lot, which I am. Do it, you'll run out of enemies. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know though, it's like I'm scared. Yeah, but I'm scared though. Okay, okay. I'm gonna buy the bullet, let's do this. We just gonna, oh, I'm gonna bring Pog. I, that's all I, I don't, I watched that stream and I don't really remember exactly how it went. Ooh. Okay, slow down, electrified targets again. So you're telling me that I want to go use the uh, electric shield once more. Cool stuff. Do it. <laughs> Anakin, do it. Okay, I, you're just... Okay, now you're just taking advantage of the beef brain by getting me to say dumb things. <laughs> Does darkness kill you while cursed? It is actually the one way that you can take damage and not die while being cursed. So, I'm safe from that. I'm not going to say that it's, like, a great idea. Obviously, panicking even more while you're cursed is not good for your health. But it is, uh... It works. Bro, 20 curse. I know. I don't like it either, but this is the life that I lead now. All right, all right. Oof. Okay. Just be cautious. Okay, there's 16. Not too shabby. Yeah, malaise also causes enemies to spawn around you, just like ambiently. It's great. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Okay, okay that actually killed him. I'm glad to see that at least my heavy grenade is taking out enemies in one hit. I'm still got to keep my head on a swivel, though. Could have had 30 curse, though. I mean, I could have. Yeah, I mean, that's not that's not untrue. Okay. Stir it both up. You can see it on your screen. Ah. Oh. We call it heat and sip. Granny creams, hot butter, ice cream. Squishes for life, baby. Come on. Okay, I can take it. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> what? Oh, we were talking about Hypnospace Outlaw earlier. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Also, go play Hypnospace Outlaw. It's pretty great. Okay. Gotcha. Got ya. Done. There we are. I'm already feeling a lot more confident. That's the last curse chest that I should be finding here. God forbid anything else shows up and tempts me into taking it, but we'll see. Bom Bomber's giving me anxiety. I feel like I I got the timing down well enough that I'm very unlikely to die, unless I'm like encountering a librarian at the same time. Like I I got it. I got it. It's cool. 312 poisons enemies. I'll just. I'm just gonna take some good stuff. I'm having a good run. I wanna make it better. I'm feeling pretty cl clown picked. Three cell door curse. By the way, what is in three cell door? Uh, I can see. 
might end up trying to go for a little bit more uh, healing later on. I, I, I might need to end up going for a little bit more healing later on. The words did manage to come out of my mouth ever so gradually. Oof. Okay. This is a lot of fun here with these uh, Inquisitor fellows. Ah, lost a kill count though, unfortunately. But you can see that it's just like this sort of aggressive play would be pretty difficult to do with any other survival weapon. And that's the sort of thing that makes a uh, shovel that much better. Corrosive cloud, not feeling it. Go battle giant for the memes. Bat gi giant battle should actually be totally fine. I have extra damage with the, the thunder shield and the giant is a very parryable enemy. <laughs> I'll do it though. We can, we can make that one work real easy, as far as I think. Projectiles activate what doesn't kill me? No, they don't. Uh, it is, it, that was one of the things with what doesn't kill me. The fact that you didn't really get all that much healing and you could only use it on me. Cool. Good plays on my part. The beef brain, chat. The beef brain. I can feel it. There's a tomato bit. Oh. Yeah, well, I watched that guy, so <laughs> it shouldn't be surprising. Okay. Chug that jug? Not yet. I got. I have several healing options, as well as several uh, damage reduction options, so it shouldn't be too bad, all things considered. And one hit. See? Not bad at all. Oh, only way it could be this aggressive was using the Ice Shard Dual Bind. Oh, yeah, that, that was definitely a very good strategy. Uh, ice Bow would probably also work out well, too, just because that that shoots real fast. Necro heals a lot. Oh, and I mean, it heals a lot when I kill 10 enemies at the same time. There were like there were like uh, uh, two failed experiments for... Um, two failed experiments for... Um, uh, trackers. It's like, I, I killed a lot of enemies there at once. As you get a little bit later into runs, you generally tend to be able to. Which is what enables that sort of amazing, amazingness. Also, just having like a decent run going on here is pretty good just by itself. Ooh, baby, this is working out nice. Ooh, baby, it's a wild, wild life. Oh, don't eat. I ain't, I ain't messing with this guy. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him big, funny giant punch before I go kill the giant for assisting me so much in this run. <laughs> Starting value and cap stays, but what it heals more over time. Necro heals twice of what it says. Okay, really? So what? What is it? Uh, one point. So it's recovering like three percent of a heal. Wow, that is a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. Hmm. Ugh. I'm glad that I was able to get that corporal and zombie out of there real quick before the problems arise. Nope. There we go, baby. 26, 27. It's looking... This is a good run. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie. We're looking pretty, pretty saucy in terms of the many good stats I've been getting over the course of this. One shot in Elite? Well, I mean, you know, Giant's Whistle generally does that. It's very, uh, If you got good stats, Giant Whistle is very good at just deleting Elites. And regular enemies, of course, too, but that should go without saying. All right, all right. 59, baby. All I need to do is just go find an enemy and Giant's Whistle. You're right. This is the easiest, simplest thing that I need to do. I just got to to not totally wang it right at the end. I probably won't totally wang it right at the end. See, watch. Easy. I'm not flopping it. I, I know, and I know, choking. But it's like all I had to do was press a button right now next to an enemy. It's not. No, it's not foreshadowing. Not everything has to be foreshadowing. Not everything. We don't have to do the lose all of the, the lose the 60 kills goof right now. I want a successful run. You see. There. 
Uh, 60 kills. Probably not going to be too much of a difference, but it will, it will do enough. Eh, no, it's going to. Uh, I do love Wang in it. I'm a big fan of Wang microprocessors in that way. Now then, uh, that's a saucy number. That's a spicy meatball of a number. Because I should be able to hit 30 then by the end of this. Hey, y'all want to go see the distillery finally? Because <laughs> I feel like it's been a little while, eh? <laughs> 28, baby, it's happening. That was almost 100,000 damage from that alone. <laughs> Alright, some good stuff. No, smile. Okay, <laughs> we'll go distillery. Let's do this. Ah, just skip? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I feel like this run is... I, I'm, I'm having fun with the run. It's going well. We got to have, hear me give my villain speech on how I'm learning Japanese. And, um, beef brain. It's like, what more? Can, this is actually like a really good... If only, but I'm not taking them. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, Distillery was supposed to be updated. I did see a little bit of the updates. It's just, uh, it's been a nightmare. <laughs> you know how that goes. <laughs> Same thing with the uh, Shadow Tribes. She checked out too. Brack to run. What? <laughs> all right, let's do this. Good job. However, oh, this will actually be a good job. Unironically good job. Okay. No, don't let him charge that up. I can't remember, but I think that's the lesser of the two in terms of uh, what I don't want to get a super attack on. I'm getting confused. <laughs> Uh, oh. <laughs> Having multiple giant fists out here. I, again, it's the, uh, it's the beef brain. No, yeah, it's, again, it's the beef brain, please. Please understand. Just, you know. Mm-hmm. Good parry. France. Ah. Shouldn't have even been all that bad, but it still was anyway. I mean, it just shouldn't be a surprise right now. The wang inning is happening. <laughs> Now with that, yep, that was an unfortunate way for him to go, but an, an, but an expected one. Now then, ah, boomerang no longer scaling with survival, so I probably wouldn't have taken it anyway, but still. Is Spike good now? Has Spike ever been particularly bad? I don't know, I always thought that was pretty good. Now, what area did I need to get into? No, I, I think it was... It's this one, right? I'm going to the distillery. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Ah. Let's go. I'm not dying. I didn't die. Beheaded will be able to get into the the, 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 the hero, the, the main dead cells guy. We'll be getting into the distillery. It's fine. <laughs> ah. Left is bullet hell, right is the quakes. Yeah, I don't want the quakes. I always hate having the quakes show up, and that's the one that more than anything else. This is also the very appropriate area to go to, what with the whole, like, bomb reflecting and everything. So, feel. I want to fist myself. To I Don't read that. <laughs> stop. No. No, me. I'm going to stop myself right there. <laughs> Good. That was a plan, baby. It's a shovel run, baby. It's a joker, baby. Okay. Oof. That was weird. Anyway, uh, 
Yeah, there wasn't anything down there. Okay. <laughs> uh, hmm. Yeah, you heard the pop? <laughs> that was, in fact, me, like, reacting to my own thing. Noise. <laughs> Reacting to my own failures. Good. No, no, no. You two. Also you. Don't think you're exempt. And just for, you know, the bonus. Okay, but also I'm getting you two. And you as well. Anybody else? <sighs> you didn't notice. I did not notice that the, the wall broke down there. It is true. Oh. Oh. I'm just gonna go. Ow. It's okay, though. This is hardly the worst situa situation that I've ever been in. See? Especially when I can do stuff like that and look really cool. Uh, okay. Okay. I haven't seen, like, new areas yet. Oh, yes. You, very well countered by the shovel. Didn't really get to see too many hammers before, but uh, that was a good time. Good as any. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Ouch. Come on, baby. I'll be fine. It's a wild, wild world. Uh. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm about to do what's called a pro gamer move. Oh. Use a monkeyless rune. Does that work? No. <laughs> no. Hey! Get out of here. It's not the time. Uh. Okay. I'm about to once again. <laughs> okay. I'm about to do it one more time. <laughs> not quite. Yeah, what's up here? Okay. Uh. Come on. I can do this. Okay, just go get the launch. Yeah, whatever. Alright, fine. This is not a pro game move. This is the lame old dumb game move. Also, holy Christ. <laughs> anyway, um I'm alive. Wait for a barrel thrower to spawn. Yeah, with an infected worker. Uh, yeah, but, uh, you know. Use your assault shield. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That probably also would have been a good um a good option. Last juice. Ah, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, all guys talking like I'm about to die here when I just got a healy pod. You know, for my heals. See, look at that. That was cool. <laughs> oh, Saria has gone well. It always does. <laughs> it always does. Now then. Oven Knight going down in a cool style. Everybody else, not so much. Oh, look, look, look. This could be way worse. Let's be honest here. Y'all keep saying this like it's a over or something, and it's never over. That's the magic of Dead Cells. You just come right back. Say that after you win. Okay, I will. <laughs> and I 
I will. It's not over till it's over, oh, isn't it? Because I think it's already over, baby. I'm willing to... Uh -huh. I'm willing to call it right now. I won. I did it. That's right, everybody. Successful shovel run. We all knew it was going to happen, though. Ah, now my nose is bleeding. <laughs> um, That's weird. I don't know what to make of this. <laughs> Gotta go fix that. Uh, I mean, yeah, I probably should. Nah, it's fine. Oh, hi, Zeus Christo. <laughs> but no, I'm choking on it. <laughs> this is the episode where I choke on my own blood. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna power through it. I have to make this a successful run. You understand? Does the blood give you strength? No, it's actually the strength leaving my body. I'm taking damage by it happening. <laughs> Doc, please. No! <laughs> it gives me the gamer's edge. It's fine. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway. Look, man, it, it just gets me closer to feeling like I do currently in the video game, right? Special ability that increases your accuracy while bleeding. No, I just get higher crit chance against enemies that are bleeding. I get nothing from this. Uh, it's only one stack of bleed. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. I am going to have to like go take a shower or something after this, though. Gaming too hard, you know how it goes. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> no, it's fine. Nobody worry about me. <laughs> uh, look, I just look like I did murder somebody, but don't worry. <laughs> Uh, it's fine. Blowing my nose would be the worst possible thing I could do right now. Hey, would this be good? No, it's only a really moderate uh, increase. Sounds like you're having death gurgles. No, that's just me choking on blood. It's fine. <laughs> Look, I'm fine. It's fine. Oh, actually, I do want to go get the, um... The, uh... Uh... Do the thing down here. Blood singing to you? No. It's not. Oh my god, this is the worst. Uh, anyway. So you're like an Andrew WK? Yeah, pretty much. I'm surprised that you uh, got that reference out of there. Still gotta go find the thing. Oh, man. Okay. Look, man, blood, sweat, and tears, literally, in this case. That's how this series works, baby. Ah, it's fine. Now then. <laughs> Please, no, I can't. I have to win. The, you don't understand the video game. Okay. I'm okay. Truly an icon. <laughs> Very fast. Okay, come on now. Don't just lay out on the table what's happening here, because that's actually what's happening. <laughs> okay. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Uh huh. Should be. Yeah, I think we're good now. I told you, this is going to be a winning run. Okay, don't call me Shirley. Now that's a boomer movie. <laughs> and also a good reference, but you know how that goes. Can't believe I got up here once and I had to use like a potion charge and everything. That's horribly, horribly embarrassing. 
Ugh. Anyway. Everyone knows the reference, though. Do they? I mean, I feel like it's been, it's been a grip since Airplane has come out. Does everybody really know the reference? All right. This, yeah, this is definitely a new area. I do not recognize this one at all, and it seems uh, like something. Good. Let's get out of here right now, please, for the love of God. Well, I do also want this real quick. I don't know the reference. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, let's go. Wait, what's that, though? Perfect. Yep, I'm out of here. Airplane, not the man. Don't call me Shirley was airplane. It was definitely airplane. I am certain. And don't call me Shirley. Uh, have you ever... <laughs> yeah, I was the I was the blow up doll autopilot. You know, I saw snakes on a plane in theaters. It was okay. <laughs> Same actor? Yes, yes, that was um, Leslie Nielsen. Oh, I actually kind of want to get the shield back out. Forgot to do that before. Um, yeah, baby, let's go. Forgot to do that before getting into this area. Nope. <laughs> Great weapon for this. Combine it with the, um, yeah, combine the shovel with the, uh, yeah, uh, the, the force shield, and you got a really good, um, combo to be reckoned with. Okay. Yeah, baby, let's go. <laughs> okay, now drop this. Go for that. Uh, I guess I don't need the barrel launcher in the back or whatever. I mean, look, barrel launcher is very good against the the hand of the king, but it's ain't ain't, ain't the end all be all certainly. Just keep doing that. Keep doing. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, rip, no hit. I didn't expect to get one. Oh, knocked him out of that attack. Okay, fine. Done. Oh. Ah, not bad, not bad. Uh, have you never expect hit more hit, no hit? I never expect no hit. I mean, it's like I can do it pretty well, needless to say, but it's like never that well. You know how that goes. Mighty hand of the king who has stood stalwart for years is countered hard by a shovel. Yeah, well, you should stop throwing bombs down then. <laughs> You should have known what was going to happen there. I'm going. I'm going. I'm getting it. We are extraordinarily close to the end. I'll be able to afford a potion charge, which will be nice by itself. Yeah. Okay. And also, like, you know, despite some distillery shenanigans, it's going okay, to say the least. All right. All right. It's like this is still a perfectly manageable run. As long as I don't once again completely wang it in some way. In what way? You never know. That's the magic of uh, Dead Cells. You're going to wang it in some way. You never know how, though, until it happens. Okay. Now, ah, croissant. Nice. Maybe I don't even have to buy a uh, piece of food then, too, which would be pretty nice. Uh, okay. 
How's the no? I don't want to go into too much detail. Anyway. Uh, where am I going right now? I'm finishing it. Look, man, we're go I'm going for it. Hardly the first time that anybody has been this zoned into video games. Okay, okay. I've watched people game through all kinds of injuries before. <laughs> Technically not an injury, really. You know that's not what I want you to hit. <laughs> now, what do you got? Yeah. I used to run shovel a lot when I was trying to get more boss cells. Shovel's great. But if I was saying if you're trying to get more boss cells, you know, like range stuff, like pyrotech. Well, not, I guess suppose not to pyrotech. That's the old strat. But like, um, trying to go for, uh, uh, well, actually, I don't even know if it's the, what you want to use right now. Cause like, yeah, I was going to say electric whip and it's like, I don't know, maybe not. Though. Giant do be doing a little bit of trolling. We do like doing some trolling here. We do a little, we, yeah, we do a little trolling here. Ah, come on. Speaking of trolling. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I'm s continuing to be annoyed. I'm s tremendously annoyed. That was actually pretty funny. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm ending the stream and this entire thing right now. You know how that goes.